Hey, I'm Steve with Project Swampcat and uh, C4x4.com Off-Road Magazine. We're here with Rob Young, the Vice President of Off-Road Addiction, Inc. out of Edmond, Oklahoma. And we're here to get a status update on Project Swampcat and Phase 2 of the build. Hey, Rob, how you doing today? Pretty good. How are you? Good, good. You want to tell us a little bit about where we're at and what you've done so far? Yeah, so um, what we did was we brought the Jeep in, we tore it down, and started designing front and rear bumpers for it. We got both bumpers designed and built. We built stubby bumpers for this one. Um, we built a skid plate for the bottom of our stubby bumper to protect the Rubicon uh, sway bar if, if you have a Rubicon. Um, and then from there we uh, started working on suspension design and we, we've got the front suspension uh, mocked up in here, um, the bracketry and all that good stuff. And so in the next uh, week or so we'll have full suspension underneath this thing. Alright, so you want to tell us a little bit about the specific features of the bumper that we've designed? Uh, it's stubby. <laughs> <laughs> well, we included the uh, factory fogs, right? Most yeah, bumpers yeah. so far have not included the factory fogs because they prefer to put the winch down in between the frame rails. Correct. So I wanted to keep the fogs on, on Project Swampcat, so we moved the winch up on top of the bumper and then moved the fogs in inside. Um, Obviously, we've got D-ring mounts, um, and then the optional skid plate. You know, this is not something you have to have on this, but um, if you want want to protect that Rubicon sway bar, or uh, if you don't have a Rubicon, then you don't have to run that. Mm -hmm. And then we also opted to go with uh, uh, non-bolt through on the actual mounting of the bumper to the uh, frame rail. So um, we've got uh, bracketry fabbed up on the inside with studs uh, welded yeah. so that, uh, that we just gives it a really clean look yep and maintains the same structural integrity yes, sir. so Rob as I understand it these are going to be your JL production uh, bumpers yes, um, is this the only version that you have or have you started developing additional styles no we also have a mid-width that we will offer um, we're still in the process of, of getting that ready for production um, but it it's a little bit wider um, kind of matches up with the fenders a little bit better for those who, who want a little more protection um, and it keeps the fog lights on the outside the winch will be sucked down in a little tighter um, and basically looks just like our, our JK version just fits the jail okay awesome um, do you want to uh, give us a little bit more info about the suspension system that you're building how is your suspension that you're building different from the other suspensions that are on the market right now there's not many on the market right now um, we're, what I what my goal with this suspension was to keep it high clearance um, for as much ground clearance as possible so that we could keep the Jeep as low as possible for a low center of gravity um, all of the bracketry is um, CNC cut out of 3 16 plate um, and then the goal with the, the control arms is obviously to have them adjustable on the vehicle um, so we're running straight control arms there instead of having bins in, in, in them so that you have to take them apart to, to make adjustments. So this will be a long arm suspension, correct? And as I it understand it, it's the first or one of the first long arms one available the first, on the yeah, market. There, there, there are a couple of companies out there that, that have started developing the long arms, but um, we will be right close behind them. And so uh, overall, the suspension that will end up on Project Swampcat will be your custom bracketry and um, control arms but aftermarket shocks and springs, so we're pulling those off the shelf. Correct. Okay, yes, sir. So, in addition to the uh, bumpers and suspension, what other parts are we working on? Um, well, on yours, we're working on kick plates for the for the sides. You already have the rock slide engineer steps, um, so we wanted to give you a little bit of body protection there. Other things that we're working on: um, inner fenders for the front, and just like we have for the JK, as well as uh, front truss. I don't think anybody has a front truss out there for the JL yet, so um, I'm kind of excited to, to try that and I'll get a truss on this thing. Yeah, me too. Uh, now, as I understand it, with the long arm suspension, we're going to have to uh, modify the rock hard, um, rock hard 4x4 skid plates that I have already. Are you guys looking at maybe designing your own yes. skid plates? Yeah, we will in the future um, design our own. Um, skid plate system you know we're we're a pretty small company and and so we're it takes a lot of time to r d that stuff and mm -hmm. and uh, so we kind of work on one project at a time <laughs> <laughs> do it once do it right yeah. yeah move on to the next one i like it all right well thanks for your time rob i appreciate right. it we're looking forward to more updates on uh, project swampcat and obviously the finish so you guys stay tuned and uh, if you need anything from uh from the mild to the wild come to off-road addiction in edmund oklahoma